Hello, so uh, this is the first of an under influence, hopefully many, uh, video blogs. Uh, the first one is we are starting at the Seabright Arms. Um, and uh, yes, this venue opened up in 1865, would you remember? And it's called after the Seabright Arms Music Hall, which stood here on the street. Um, so that's why it's called the Seabright Arms. So, you wouldn't believe it, but the music scene here has changed over the years, over the decades. So in the 70s, this was a very popular heavy metal uh, scene. In the 80s, wouldn't believe, weirdly, it was disco. And in the 90s, this was really popular cabaret scene. Who would have thought it? So in 2008, this pub was bought by a developer and uh, with the idea of turning this into flats. Um, luckily, there was a petition signed out by locals and uh, with a lot of help from a website called the Disappearing Pubs of East London, it was actually saved and uh, the permission to build flats was uh, refused. Um, it was then closed for three years and now it's turned into this glorious pub. Uh, and over the years, you've had loads of decent uh, acts played here. So Ezra Furman, uh, Childhood, uh, Courtney Burnett has played at this pub. And tonight I'm here for a blank night uh, with uh, the reverse and uh, headlined by Seth Fargosia, the uh, very, very, very talented anti-folk musician. Hello, well I'm outside the uh, Seabright Arms and I'm lucky to be in the uh, company of uh, Joe Murphy. How are you doing sir? I'm doing alright. Uh, so how should I describe you? You're, of course you're lead singer in such a buzzfuss. Uh, you're your own personal, uh, your own solo artist now as well. Occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. And of course you run, uh, co-run Blang Records, is that mm -hmm. correct? That's yeah. right. There you go. So uh, what's the uh, occasion this evening at Seabright Arms? Well, we're putting on a Blang night tonight at yeah. the Seabright Arms in Hackney for the release of High Diver, which is a new album by uh, Seth Fargoltzia. And he's here with his backing group, Multibird, tonight. So uh, who is uh, Seth Fargozia then? Mm, How uh, would you describe him? Mm. Um, Seth is a extremely talented songwriter and performer. Yeah. He's, a bit, he's a bit of a wild card on stage. Uh, you never know quite what to expect from him. Uh, he came out of the New York anti-folk movement in the early 2000s along with Moldy Peaches and Jeff Lewis and people like that. He's up there with them, in, in my view, but he's, he's different to them. He's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, you, you just need to go and see him. He, he's, so how did he get yeah. to be part of Blang then? How did that come well, about? We've, we've known Seth for years. We, yeah. first, we first put him on at Blang at the old 12 bar club in um, 20, 2002. Saw him in New York in 2002 playing as well. And uh, yeah, his old band Doofus played at the 12 bar in 2002. They were amazing. And, yeah, I've kind of always, we've always kind of wanted to do something with Seth, uh, and it was only recently that we kind of got round to doing it. And he'd done this 100 songs project where he'd written 400 songs in four months, and he sent 32 of them to us, and I compiled nine of them into a, an album. And it, it's good. It's a bit eclectic. So it's a bit of electronic, a bit of just acoustic stuff, and a bit of more band stuff. It's it's a bit all over the place, but it it kind of cohesively is there because of him really, and his voice and everything his vision is throughout it so yeah I think it works as an album brilliant uh, this is um, how's the Blang Nights going because it's it's been a while since I've been to a Blang Night actually well they only go sporadically these yeah. days I, I did them for 12 sorry 10 years at the 12 bar club yeah. and then stopped after 10 years because I was too busy by then doing other things so we just do them occasionally so I put, I put this one on tonight for the release of this because Seth and the band are on tour Excellent. Uh, you got any gigs personally coming up, by the way? Um, yeah, October the 15th at Leighton's Stone X Service Men's Club, which is a What's Cooking night, the famous night over in East London there, playing with Steve, Pro Steve White and the Protest family. Excellent. Um, so get yourself down there, people, OK? Uh, thank you very much, Joe. I really appreciate it.